What's harder than being stuck between a rock and a hard place? How about trying to stick metal to rubber? Okay, maybe not. But if you're looking for the right adhesive solution to bond your rubber to metal in your application, we're gonna go through some helpful tips to help you find the right material. Bonding rubber to metal presents a unique challenge because they have very different surface energies. If you don't know what surface energies are, here's a quick explanation. Metal generally has high surface energy, making it easier for adhesives to adhere to it. Rubber, on the other hand, has low surface energy, requiring specialized adhesives. Some surface treatments, like powder coating on metal, can further lower the surface energy of the substrate, which can impact your application even more. To ensure that you're gonna have a strong and resilient bond in your application, selecting the right adhesive is critical. So what is the best way to bond to both of these very different substrates? First, you're definitely gonna to wanna to look at a differential double-coated tape. Differential double-coated tapes is a solution for bonding two dissimilar substrates together. It consists of a carrier with two different adhesives. Typically, one side will be set up to provide a more permanent bond, and the other will be a uh, less strong adhesive to allow mobile placement or repositioning. While these tapes might be more expensive than standard options, their ability to create a strong adhesive bond between two dissimilar or different energy level substrates makes them really valuable in the long run. Foam tapes are widely used in rubber to steel or to metal bonding because of their strong adhesive properties. They also provide excellent conformability and sealing properties, making them ideal for applications that require moisture resistance. However, some foams like EPDM or silicone have low surface energies, making adhesion difficult, but they have certain characteristics that can still make them the right choice. Selecting the right foam tape, especially with the right surface treatment, ensures you're getting yourself set up for a great bond in your application. When selecting an adhesive for rubber to metal bonding, it's important to discuss and review factors such as industry standards, environmental conditions, and the types of stress that the bond will endure. Medical, automotive, or electronic applications may require a particular certification. The adhesives also are gonna to need to stand up to mechanical stresses, different levels of temperature resistance, and potentially chemical exposure. Understanding these factors is gonna help you understand whether you need sealing, waterproofing, or additional reinforcement. The adhesive choice is gonna depend on the strength requirements or the environmental exposures. For example, a car trim attachment might require a higher temperature resistance or temperature threshold than something that's gonna go into a medical device. Choosing the right adhesive from the start is gonna save you money on expensive redesigns and make sure you're starting with the right solution from the very beginning of your project. Consulting with a flexible material converter early in the process is gonna help you streamline your material selection and optimize your design for manufacturability. If you're interested in learning more about adhesive tapes, feel free to visit our learning center and check out a variety of articles and videos we have on these topics. Or you can reach out to us directly. Thanks for watching.